Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is FIFA Versus with Daniel Backman and Rob Elliott in partnership with EA Sports FIFA 22. Lads, I'm going to be quizzing you on your Watford teammates' FIFA ratings. Before we get into it, do you know your FIFA ratings this year, your overall rating? Yeah, I know mine. I'm not very happy with it. You're not happy with it? <laughs> Go on. What is it? I think it's 70. It how is much, 70. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it is worth a little bit more because I'm, I'm pretty sure I was 69 last season and obviously... You were you know, 69 last season. You got up. Quite a bit of, has changed in the last 12 months, so I thought maybe it could be a little bit higher. But Yeah. What do you think it, it should is. be then? Maybe 73, 74, I would have said. <laughs> Rob, your eyes there? What, what would you... <laughs> no, I just agree. What are you saying? Nothing. I don't know FIFA that well. <laughs> do you know your own rating? I do. No. Do you? Go on. What is it? 69. It does good knowledge, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so 69, so one in between you, yeah. 70 and 69. So your thoughts on your rating? It's pretty good to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm basically retired, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so you take 69. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, three players, interestingly, are joint for the highest rated at Watford uh, on FIFA 22. Can you guess who they are? Isma. Isma Isma Sarr is one, correct? I know who Fozzie is. Fozzie? Yeah. Yes, Ben yeah. Foster's another. I'm not sure what the third one is. Lisa? It is, yeah, yeah good oh, knowledge. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Think, I love the fact you, you sort of looked at each other as if it was a team effort yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Foster. Foster. Yeah, because yeah. remember when he brought the cards in? Yeah, that's why. Because he's, he's always doing it, he's always showing it, isn't he? He was like, yeah, I'll do it if you put my ratings up. Yeah, you're exactly. surprised at that. <laughs> Foster exactly. should be nah, nice. I just goalies don't tend to get good ratings, do they? Yeah. And what's it like with Ben? Obviously, he's running his YouTube channel, very, very successful. I've seen you both feature on that. He's vlogged, everyone's featured because of the vlogs, of course. What is that like? Is he always vlogging or is the camera always rolling? How does that work? Yeah, he's a good actor, isn't he? Good actor. He is good, yeah. um, no, he's, uh, the funny thing is, if you, when I remember back about 18 months ago now, so when he started it, mm. when he was walking around with his camera talking to you, and he was all like a bit nervy, and, and yeah. now he's like, he's, he's like his second oh, nature. Really it's good, incredible, he? like yeah, yeah. how much he's changed. Just, yeah. I mean, he's, he's done it for the last 18 months pretty much every day, but the difference is incredible from going like, right, I have to do this again now. And then he goes, hey, hi guys, it's Ben Foster here, the Cycling GK, it's just all coming natural, natural, you know, it's, um, it's, it's quite funny to watch. Yeah. Love that. And, and of course, three players at the top, that's quite rare to have three players with the joint rating. So as keepers, who is the toughest to come up against in training? Is there a standout player in training at Watford, yeah, would you say? different positions, you yeah, know, of course. we come up a lot against the strikers. I mean, we've got, obviously, Kucha Hernandez, who's an incredible finisher. Yeah. Ashley Fletcher is a really good finisher. You know, tough, to got... pick, tough to pick one person. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Chucho's finishing now is really yeah. nice. I didn't know loads about him, obviously, yeah. when he signed, but he's, uh, he's finishing yeah. something, something I mean, else. you said the other day, it's a, it's a big shout, but it's very true. He's, Movement and stuff is very similar to Aguero. Wow. You know, I mean, it's a different. Yeah, it's just he's like small and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just the way he moves yeah. and, you know, yeah. it's finishing as well. You know, it's, um, I'm not saying he's like Aguero, but he certainly has the potential to be yeah. a very, very good player. Okay, next question Who do you think is the fastest player at the club according to FIFA 22? Yeah, that's easy. It's got to be. Oh, I don't know, Isma or Dennis? Isma. Isma. Yeah, Isma. Dennis is no, it's got to be Isma. It'll be Isma at the rating, but He's... Dennis will be up there now. Yeah. yeah. Both right, actually, because Isma Nassar is top with 94. Yeah. He's... Emmanuel Dennis second with 88. So is that one you have to think about because no, of, no, oh, no. in terms think, of how I the think, ratings are done? I think, yeah, Dennis will be up there. He's, he's increased. But... Isma's still quite a bit faster. Yeah. I think 94 is low for Isma. Yeah. Do you? I've never seen anyone. He has to be the quickest in the Premier League. So I've never seen anyone in, in, of all think, the players you've played as quick as him. The only no player I've that. seen it once who's clocked more than him was Alan Samaxon. Yeah, but I think Isma has to be the fastest in the Premier League. Like, well, I couldn't think of one player that's faster than him. It's interesting you say that because not only is he the fastest at Watford, but he's the third fastest in the Premier League behind only Adama Traore and Dan James. So, Dan James? James. Yeah. 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 Are you surprised yeah. at that one? Yeah, I mean, I know Dan James is really fast, yeah. but. I mean, I see him every day, so maybe yeah, I'm yeah. just a bit, you know, closer to is him. That but FIFA ratings or is that actual... FIFA ratings, yeah. Ah, right, FIFA okay. ratings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to us about his manager side then, because you both seem to be talking about him with a lot of praise. How good a player is he and what level can he become? Because I know Watford fans are, are very excited about him. He always trains, he always works hard. And I think that's a big part of, you know, what he can become. I mean, he's a top quality player already. I mean, as we've seen, you know, a season in the Premier League when we got relegated, obviously last season, he was certainly a big part of us getting back yeah. back up and you know already this season again so I'm sure he can be a top 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 player yeah good player isn't he? right sticking with pace uh, slowest player at the club of course once again according to FIFA 22 who do you think the slowest player is <laughs> it's got to be me and a goalkeeper's included oh, Anfield player yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> the goalies would have a good race actually I'm, I don't want to be disrespectful here but no, I me think and Fuzzy would have a race and Fuzzy probably could have yeah. I'm definitely last yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm going to be a bit... Cool. I love him, but I'm going to say Tom Cleverley. 
Oh, I'm Dan Gosling. Tom Cleverley. Oh, yeah, Good show. Dan Gosling, no. Oh, so okay. Dan Gosling's rating is 50. There's a player with 35. Which I think... 35? Yeah. 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 The gaffer. <laughs> it's not the gaffer. 35. Yeah. Centre-half. It might be a defender. It's got to be a centre-half. I'm not giving you too many clues. I'm going to say Craig. No, it's not Craig. It is Craig Cathcart. Nah. <laughs> I actually what? don't... What? Is it Craig? Come on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not even going to be a I'm not even going to be a With Craig Cathcart. I just can't wait to speak to him about this. How's that not been picked up before? 35. You know what? I was thinking about the defenders and I was thinking Craig's actually... He's got decent pace. Yeah. This is really not 35. okay. 35. I mean, that is... Uh, they, that's, that's a massive... Uh, because so I'm that's telling you, right you. Craig right. Kafka nah, nah. is a lot quicker than Dan Gosling. A lot. I, I, would have, I, didn't, I never <laughs> thought Craig is slow. No, I <laughs> would never. No. That's brilliant. How will Craig react to that, though, do you think? I don't know. I think he might be slower than me on FIFA. That's brilliant. He'll get his horn out. Can you get some of the highest jumping stats at the club? Dennis. There's a player that you... Yes. Straight yeah. away, yeah. Emmanuel Dennis, 94. Yeah. Uh, if I, only Ronaldo and Lucas Moura have better jumping stats in the entire really? game. Dennis joined second uh, with other players uh, on wow. 94, but 94. Yeah, yeah he's got I mean, we obviously see that because of the goal kicks. That straight away, though. Yeah, because of the goal kicks, you know, yeah. when you kick to him, you just see. Like the first and time then, I saw him drum, you're like, whoa, yeah, that is high. Right. Next one, a little head-to-head -head now. Uh, who has the better shooting between Joshua King or Emmanuel Dennis? Not a lot in it. It's a good one for you both because you're both keepers come up against both in training. I'm going so go who do you think Kingy. edges it? Just you're going Kingy? Because, I'd say Kingy as well, yeah. Because, Just because of the experience and the Yeah, more. and because of Dennis's left foot. Right, OK. Dennis 72, King 76. Yeah. You're right, so just slightly both good players as well. Yeah. But, yeah. Shooting wise, you think that's about right? Yeah, I think like, they're different. I don't know the way they finish. Like King is like King is a really good finisher. Yeah, so, really good. Like, obviously, a lot Dennis, of power Dennis scored a lot of goals this season. The goals Dennis scores are mainly, you know, more delicate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're not like yeah. Josh, proper like, finishes. Josh, they're finishes they're finishes yeah. I don't yeah. mean actually. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you think about the Leicester goal Dennis. and. How important have they both been? Because I, I think back to the Man United game, both of them were, were on great form. They're two important players for Watford, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, Dennis has, I think, has surprised a lot of people. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, he's played in the German Bundesliga before mm. and it's obviously not worked out very well for him there. And he's come into the Premier League, the best league in the world, and just taking it apart is maybe a bit, you know, strong. But, you know, I mean, his stats in the first 15 games are pretty he's incredible. he's record, isn't he, for, like, the yeah. first start? Yeah, like, the, first, the, the, I think he was one of the goals. first three, like, one of the only three players to have more than five goals and five assists yeah. in the first six, uh, first 12 games, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like I said, his stats are pretty decent. So, our King, is, I mean, Josh has done it for years in the Premier League, you know, everyone knows how good he is yeah. and how good he can be. Final question, uh, who do you think is the strongest player at Watford? So, the high strength rating on FIFA 22. Either, I've got well, a lot of these right, I've got to say. It's either a Kong or Musa. Yeah, I'd go for, uh, I'm going to go with, I'd say the same thing, I'd probably go with Musa. Yeah. Correct, yes, yeah. Moose is yeah. Oko 90. So, I mean, 90, 90 yeah. FIFA, pretty good from both yeah. of you. Got yeah. a lot of these right, you're happy with that one, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's, that, let's talk uh, about yeah. Musa. Um, big signing as well. What's he been like since, since he's come to the club? Oh, he's class, I love him. Like, obviously, I, had him, I was with him at Newcastle. Yeah, of course, yeah. I think what's nice to see is the difference in him since, like, when he was at oh, Newcastle. From then to now, really? Yeah, yeah, like, when he was at Newcastle, what you knew is he knew what type of player he was, a great yeah. player, works so hard, gives everything for the team. Always good around the place, but like for me, he's developed into a leader. I don't know if it's being at Tottenham and that. But since he's come yeah. in, he's set high standards. He like he really galvanates the lads. Obviously, he's captain now. Um, he leads by example on the pitch and off the pitch. Um, he's just a great lad. Yeah, he's, he's an incredible player, and obviously the strength like we just mentioned. Yeah. You know, that's a big part of his game. You know, yeah. he's so well. hard. Yeah, he's, so quick, yeah. he's, he's just he's powerful, isn't he? Quick. Yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. so powerful. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to stop him. It's a bit like the different type of players, but it's the same when Paul Pogba runs with the ball. Yeah, he's just so powerful, and it's hard to take the ball off. Yeah. It's the same in Musa. Yeah, lads enjoyed that. Um, your knowledge of FIFA is pretty good. So happy yeah. the raising yeah. your ratings a little bit higher for next season. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll do my best to get it up, but we'll see what, what we'll see happens. We'll see what Brilliant. Happens. Thanks very much. That was FIFA Versus uh, with Daniel Batman and Rob Bay in partnership with EA Sports FIFA 22.